if you just open your eyes to see um, the city and the people who do not have homes, um, if you just pay attention to whatever that you, you do see, you'll, you'll realize that this is a real issue and people do, a lot of people in the city do need help, they do need financial or economic assistance of some sort. I'm Erica Kish. I'm the executive director of Compass Family Services. I've been, been with the organization for 20 years now. Um, the mission of Compass Family Services is to help uh, families that are homeless or at risk of homelessness to achieve housing stability, economic self-sufficiency, and family well-being. And each year we help more than 3,500 3, parents and children with our continuum of direct services. Uh, so my name is Juan Ochoa. I am the director of programs at Compass Family Services. I have been with the agency for um, 14 wonderful years. Uh, in order to do to deliver our services, we have um, designed different programs so we can support families in in different areas such as housing, employment, um, a therapy, access to food, access to education, uh, training, subsidies, all sort of services that childcare that families will need in order to be um, independent. My name is Elizabeth Inker. I'm the program director here at Compass Connecting Point, and we are the front door for families facing homelessness in San Francisco. Basic eligibility just requires that there be at least one parent and one minor child or a pregnancy. Uh, but beyond that, we see clients of all kinds of different backgrounds and walks of life. Many families struggle with uh, extreme mental illness, with physical health challenges, with very sick children. Um, some of them struggle with a uh, history of domestic violence or recovering from substance abuse. And um, people's, people's stories vary quite a bit from family to family. But every family that walks through our door has experienced the trauma of homelessness and we really have to tailor our services with that knowledge. Um, children are affected by homelessness in a wide variety of ways. Uh, the instability of not having the same place to go to every night, um, not knowing what's going on, feeling their parents' tension, feeling the tension of the people that they're staying with that might not want them to stay there. All of these affect children in a variety of ways and affect their development in a variety of ways. Um, it's very important for our volunteers to commit and follow through on all of our requirements because we do work with children and we do work with families who are very vulnerable and it's just important that we have consistency and commitment and volunteers who are willing to go through all of the procedures that we need in order to ensure the consistency and commitment of these volunteers for our families. I think having that, that commitment before you join will be yeah, essential. Um, and I also think that there are a lot of benefits to doing something uh, in the longer term because you develop real relationships with other volunteers. Um, you start to invest your time and resources into a particular program um, and, and you take ownership of it. For me, I feel like commitment is like huge because a lot of our families don't know where they're going to be at from night to night. So for you to be able to know that every Wednesday from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock you have somebody that's going to come and they're going to come consistently and you're going to cook a meal, you're going to sit down and share a meal, that might be the only piece that they have in the week. So to me I think that's like a huge commitment. The commitment is the most important thing um, because the kids will start looking forward to a certain person coming in. My ideal volunteer will be someone who could come in and meet our families where they're at. Um, someone who would come in and not um, be empathetic and sympathetic, but not judgmental and not overly, you know, come in and feel like, oh my God, I need to save the world. Just come in with an open heart and open mind. Respect, kindness, compassion. sense of humor. Somebody who is going to be energetic, who is going to be motivated, who is going to be willing to, to listen, 
and is going to be a, really open to learn. The volunteers that I, I particularly like are the ones that can offer things that I can't offer. And I think that's very, a very important trait to be super open-minded and, and just able to adapt to certain situations. We also really appreciate volunteers that bring a certain amount of positivity into the scene. Um, and we appreciate volunteers who are sensitive and understanding towards our population. Those are all really important things. My name is Frank Gallo. I've been working for Compass for about five years. and I work in the preschool at Clara House. I think finding the right program to volunteer is real important. I've been teaching in preschool about 40 years, and I really believe in volunteering and giving back to community. And when I found out Clara House has a children's center like this that where they help families, it was the best place to volunteer. Compass Family Service's mission was just to help homeless families um, achieve housing stability, um, um, family well-being, and self-sufficiency. That, that mission really uh, impressed me. Of the Leadership Council, and um, the Leadership Council um, does a whole variety of things. I, I have uh, been able to to use some of the skills that I've developed in my in my job uh, in in the Leadership Council in volunteer programs. Um, yeah. So on behalf of Compass Connecting Points program as well as Compass Family Services as a whole. Uh, we really, really thank all of the volunteers for all of the help that they've given us over the years and all of the help that they will be giving us in the future. We couldn't do this without you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ray! <laughs> for volunteers who are long-term and or will have direct client interaction, these are our basic requirements. Attend an informational tour or watch an orientation video. Complete a volunteer application. You must commit to at least six months to a year, depending on the program or opportunity, and you must pass the fingerprint clearance. Our onboarding process is outlined in the following diagram. Volunteers will start by expressing interest online by filling out our interest form. They will then be prompted to go to an informational tour or watch an orientation video as you are doing now. They will then fill out a volunteer application and send over a resume to our volunteer manager. Then they will meet with a supervisor for the opportunity that they are interested in. They will then have to pass a fingerprint clearance and then they can start volunteering. For more information, please visit our website and for our most current updates, please visit our Facebook page or Twitter page.